You know me, I like my phone imaging. I, that's why I went for the Nokia and Microsoft Lumia flagships for so long, and the 808 before that. They're all still kind of on my desk today, but what of 2019? I've had it in mind to compare the best of Google camera, as seen here on the Pixel 3 XL on the latest Android Q Beta, to the massively specced P30 Pro for ages, but I was waiting for two things, Q to be stable and the Huawei to get its long-awaited 161 firmware update with distinct camera improvements. Both of these have now happened and I wanted to try a new way of comparing shots from the two camera phones. It's an experiment, so let me know what you think. In the left corner with single stabilised lens but sophisticated exposure stacking software including filling in detail between sensor pixels from each exposure to allow for software zoom we have the Google Pixel 3 XL now nine months old but still representing the absolute best of Google camera software which has been ported to so many other chips and devices right now. In the right corner, it's that triple lens P30 Pro. Again, with wide angle, not used here, but fun to play with. Regular stabilized lens with 40 megapixel sensor used intelligently at a pixel bin 10 megapixels and a genuinely useful stabilized five times telephoto lens. My expectations are that the immense specs of the Huawei imaging will prevail, but the interesting part is just how close the pixel can push things. All my test photos were taken on full auto and all handheld, no tripod needed, even for the night shots. 10 points each for this lovely travel lodge shot in the sun. Uh, easy shot for either phone camera to get, no problem at all. Now here we are with a station at dusk. The P30 Pro definitely pulls in more light and gets the win here. The, the, the Pixel does very well as well. Slightly more noise in the dark corners. Now zooming in, and the same shots again at dusk, 10 points for the P30 Pro, very impressive indeed. Um, the Pixel actually does very well, the high res zoom in these light conditions from the single sensor gets surprisingly close, but it's no match for that telephoto. Now the foliage here in this lovely cottage scene, 10 points to the Pixel, just perfect really, um, perhaps bettered only by the best of the Nokia Lumias, 9 points for the P30 Pro, it's excellent really, just a smidge too much sharpening from the Huawei device. This shot of branches shooting up a tree, an HDR shot if you will, against a bright sky, uh, 10 points each really, both are almost indistinguishable and both are excellent. Uh, this shot of an altar inside a fairly dimly lit church, 10 points each, both excellent. There's more light from the P30 Pro's effort and it clearly gathers this, but the, the pixel is very close to reality. No complaints here. Zooming in in the same church, um, the same stabilised five times telephoto scores again for the P30 Pro, 10 points. Um, the, again, the software zoom does very well on the, the pixel considering it's just got that one lens. I'm going to give it eight points. Now this shot of a moped at night, very dimly lit uh, conditions, just two street lamps, eight points for the Pixel. I'm giving nine to the P30 Pro, which is sharper and clearer, but there is a slight artificial red tint, which wasn't there in reality. The next night shot, this is showing extremes of light, flood lit stonework in the foreground and dark stonework in the background. I'm giving 10 points to each. They're both excellent shots. Neither get blow the highlights out and you can see everything you need to. Very atmospheric. Finally, a wide shot of the church, again the flood lighting, uh, producing a really picturesque shot and a nice dark, deep blue on, on the sky behind. The P30 Pro gets eight points. The results pop, but it is over sharpened, especially if you look at the greenery on the trees. Uh, I'm giving the Pixel 3XL and Google camera nine points here. The Google Pixel shot is more accurate, I think. I did try a long exposure night shot with each of the phones, but they weren't significantly better, so I'm, I'm sticking to straightforward photos. Adding up the points given verbally, just for fun, gives 96 points to the Huawei P30 Pro and 90 to the Google Pixel 3 XL with the latest Google camera, which gives the P30 Pro the win in terms of pure imaging and the margin was about what I'd expect given the specifications. However, as you might expect, given the political climate, any comment on Huawei has to have some kind of asterisk attached. The P30 Pro is claimed to still receive monthly security updates for a couple of years and even the Android Q update, perhaps early in 2020. But there are for me still question marks over exactly how Huawei is going to pull this off, especially given the embargoes pitched against it by Donald Trump's paranoid regime in the States. Whereas the Pixel, being older, 
is still 100% guaranteed Android Q and Android R, maybe even Android S, along with monthly security updates throughout, keeping it safe and secure. And as I said in my Pixel 3a review, safe and secure is worth an awful lot these days. In terms of imaging alone, it's clear from today's test that Google has to do something about multi-lensed phones and all the indications are that the Pixel 4 and 4XL will arrive with a wide angle lens plus Sony's 48 megapixel main sensor, all tied together and zoom managed by Google's impressive software chops. I can't wait.